Shield, shield B. Shield B doing it. Uh huh. She'll be doing it. So that's the progressive, right? With the contraction, she'll be doing it. Okay. Negative. Negative C. She won't be doing it. She won't be doing it. Doing it. All right. She won't be doing it. All right. Good. So that's the negative. How about the question? The question is, will she be doing it? Good. Will she be doing it? Question mark. And what's the answer? Yes, she will. No, she won't. Yes, she will. No, she, she won't. won't. All right. So that's it. All right. So we have will progressive. This is will. This is will the will simple form. And this is will progressive form. And then we have going to future. In this case, we're going to have going to going to progressive. Progressive. Remember, guys, progressive or continuous is the same thing. Okay. Progressive or continuous. And this would be for Carmen. Are you ready, Carmen? I try teacher. I know do the phone. Oh, God. What an, ex <laughs> what an example she, for the nation. She is, <laughs> <laughs> she is uh -huh. going to be doing it. All right, good. So she's, she's going to be doing it. All right, good. And what about the negative? She. Uh -huh. she is not. She's not uh -huh. going to going to be doing it. Uh, yeah, doing it. Good. She's not going to be doing it. Good. And what about question? What about the question? Is they. But is she? Uh huh. Is she going to be doing it? Going to be doing it. All right. And what about the answer? Yes, she is. Mm -hmm. No, she is not. No, she's not. Okay. Yes, she is. No, she is not. Teacher, teacher yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, teacher. Let me see the, 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 the blackboard. Yeah. I can see the blackboard. You don't see it? No. Oh, okay. Let uh, yeah, me... no, okay. The, the, the phrase, is she going to be doing? She's to be doing. She's going she's to going be doing. To be doing. doing. Be doing it. Doing. To yeah. be doing. doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. The second is. She isn't going to be doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Yes. Doing, doing it. it. Doing it. Doing it. Yeah. Doing it. Is she going to be doing it? Doing it. Doing it. Yes. Doing it. <laughs> okay, thank you. you got All right. Yes. Uh, and then we have, uh, we uh, he, on this side we have the present perfect. And here we're going to do the present perfect progressive. Present perfect progressive. Yes, present perfect progressive. All right, all right, Mr. Okay. Howard, we have you in the microphone, so you're next. Okay, let, let me try. <laughs> okay, you go. Present perfect progressive. Yes. He has been doing it. Yes. She has, has been doing it. Mm -hmm. been she has been doing it. 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 She has been doing it. All right. Great. What about the okay. negative? The negative is she hasn't been doing it. Good. She hasn't doing been it. She hasn't been doing it. Doing it. She hasn't been doing it. And what about the question? Wait, has she been doing it? Has she been 
Doing it. Has she been Be doing it? Doing it. Has she been doing it? Has she, has been, she doing been doing it? Doing it. Yes. Doing. Has she been doing has it? Has she been doing it? Yes. Okay. Doing it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, she has. No, she has. All right. So, yes. She, she has. has. No, she has. No, she has. Mm -hmm. And that's basically it. Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. So here we have simple present, present progressive. Simple past, past progressive. Simple will, will progressive. Simple going to, going to progressive. Present perfect, present perfect progressive. Difficult? A little. <laughs> A little difficult? Okay. A little. Well, you know. Sometimes it's good to do these grammar reviews to just reinforce what we what we did in the past and to continue learning new topics. So today, this is exactly what we're doing. We're reviewing. That's why we say grammar review. We need to sometimes just refresh our minds a little bit on how the grammar structure goes on different tenses. Okay? So, we did this part and then we also worked with can correct that was the other part all right uh so let me put on top can and the picture teacher all right my picture late the, not there the board <laughs> oh okay i was thinking oh, I'm thinking. <laughs> let me take a selfie okay <laughs> so now we're going to do she does it and we're going to mix it with can right can and she does it so <clears throat> let me see in this case uh elizabeth can we do the first one can can she can do it all right so hold on a second let me get ready. She can do it. She can do it. Okay. Is this difficult for you, Elizabeth? No. <laughs> I like the way you respond. I don't know. For some reason. <laughs> no. It's... Okay. So what is the negative? She can do it. She can't. Uh -huh. We have to stress here. She can't do it. All right. What about the question? Can she do it? Mm -hmm. Can she do it? Can she do it? So this is can, right? In present. And then we have can in past. And I thank you so much. Um, excuse me, teacher. Yes? Teacher, excuse me, please. Yeah. For for what I don't say she can does it. Okay, why I say she can do not does it. After can, all the verbs, original form. Original. Any form. verb, any verb, any verb, any pronoun. Any verb and any. Any pronoun. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. It doesn't matter. The pronoun, you have to use original form. Any pronoun, okay. Yeah, pronoun, pronoun, pronoun. After can. Yes. Mm -hmm. If it is affirmative, negative, or question, I is original form. In this case, it's two. Pronoun, right. affirmative. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, Rosario, you're next. Can't. Do it. Repeat again. She can do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Remember, no more L is... Uh, yeah, you, she could. She could. She could do it. Oh, yeah, okay, she could do it. And the negative? She couldn't do it. Okay, you're doing much better today. So it's she couldn't do it. And the question? 
Would she do it? Mm-hmm. Could she mm -hmm. do it? And of course, I forgot the, the answer. But here, Rosario, you're going to tell me the answer. Yes? Yes, she could. 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 No, she couldn't. Mm-hmm. No. She couldn't. All right. So what about the answers for can she do it? Yes, she can. Okay, so it would be yes, she can. Or? No, she, no, she can't. No, she can't. All right, good. Thank you so much. The next one would be a, can. Can in future, can't will. Oh, this is getting interesting here. Will, can, using can, it will, right? Uh, <coughs> who is next? Uh, you did, Carmen. Bonilla, maybe Bonilla. You want to help us, Bonilla? Yes, teacher. All right, go ahead. Impress me, please. He will be able to do it. All right, so it's she, she will. We be able to do it. Uh huh. All right. And negative. She won't be able to do it. She won't be able to do it. To do it. All right. And question. Will she mm -hmm. be able to do it? Will she be able to do it? Mm -hmm. All right. And what about the answer? Yes, she will. Yes. She will. Yes, she no. will. No, she won't. No, she won't. All right. Thank you so much. The next one would be uh, Marco. Let's call it can and going to. How can we express can going to. can and going to? Yeah. She's going to be able to do it. All right. She's going to, to be able to do it. To be able to do it. Whoa, a little long. The sentence is a little long. All right, she's going to be able to do it. What about the negative? She's not going to be able to do it. But she's not going to, to be, be able to do it. Able to do it. And what about the question? Is she going to be able to do it? Is she going to, to be, be able to do it? Able <coughs> to do it. Good. Is she going to be able to do it? All right. So. Yes, she is. No, she is. All right, so yes, she is. No, she isn't. All right, great. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. All right. Are we okay so far? Because we only have one more. We have the perfect. Present perfect, present, present, progress, present perfect, progressive. And then we are about to do can. In present perfect. This is super duper interesting. I like it. Uh, so can present perfect progressive. Um, Rosario, do you have the answer for this one here? Mm -hmm. uh, she can be able to do it. Mm. So she has so she has been able to do it. Okay. She has been able to do it. Yes. She has been been able to do it. Able to do it. Alright. She, she has hasn't. Mm -hmm. A negative? She hasn't been able to do it. She hasn't been able to do, it. to do it all right she hasn't been able to do it the question has she been able to do it 
Has she been able to do it? And it would be. Yes, she. Yes, yes she has. Mm -hmm. No, she hasn't. All right. So yes, she has. No, she hasn't. No, she hasn't. All right. So basically, this is it. We have one, two, three, four. We have we have twelve grammar topics here, or twelve grammar tenses. A diff, a, a, you know, one sentence is expressed in twelve different ways. Expressed in present, simple present, and past, future will, future going to, present perfect, and then we have the present perfect progressive. Past, I mean, uh, past, present progressive, past progressive, will progressive, going to progressive, present perfect progressive. And obviously, this is super important, guys, because sometimes we say, sometimes I hear some people say, she will can go, or she will cannot go. So there is a mix of will and, and can, very bad. So you already know, when we use can, in the future tense with will, can becomes be able to, or is a substitute. Be able to is a substitute for can when we talk about future, or when we use can with going to. So, now, <clears throat> can with going to, we never say she's going to can, because in Spanish we say, ella va a poder, so she is going to can. You never do that, right? We never do that. So we change can for be able to so I, I want I want this to be very clear guys to be very clear and obviously here in present per present perfect right she is she has been able to ella ha podido right or ella no ha podido she hasn't been able to right or will she I mean I'm sorry has she been able to ha podido ella has she been able to do it all right, so do you guys, oh, of course, very important. See, sometimes when we have questions in Spanish and the question is, do you have time? Some people say, yes, I have, and that's very incorrect, right? I always tell you this. We don't say, yes, I have. We say, yes, I do. If the question is, does she have time? Is, yes, she does. Oh no, she doesn't. And I say this because sometimes some people say, Teacher, but I hear my friend. She's, uh, my friend says, yes, she has. Is that correct or that's incorrect? I said, well, if the question is, does she have? The answer is, no, she doesn't. Like here, right? Does she? The answer is, yes, she does or no, she doesn't. But if the question is, has she? Then the answer is, yes, she has or no, she she hasn't, depending on what you're doing, right? On what you're, on the tense. If you're using does for the question, this is the answer. Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. If you use has for the question, has she been able to? Yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. So, depending on your experience. Is, is same thing the answer, teacher? Not the same thing, but if, look, if you use has to ask you use has to answer or hasn't <laughs> if you use is to ask you use is to answer in affirmative isn't to answer <laughs> in negative if you use will to ask you respond or answer with will or with won't in negative if you use could to ask you, you you use could to answer very simple you just keep it to the to, to to what you use to make the question yes could she yes she could or no she could yes i have a question uh oh we Sorry. could say the in present perfect progress she has 
do it or, or always be? Well, good question, uh, Ponella. Remember, guys, for the progressive in English, mm -hmm. you always need two things. Verb to be and the verb with ing. Verb to be and the verb with ing. Verb to be, ing. Verb to be, ing. Verb to be, in past, in this case, ing. Verb to be, ing. For the progressive, you need the verb to be all the time. Okay, teacher. You cannot leave it out. You cannot exclude it. Yeah, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Any questions, guys? Teacher, yes. in future, we can, we can is it, use it will, right? Uh, here? In future. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, well, yes, remember what I said. Remember what I said. Can is poder, but you have yo puedo, yo pude, yo podré, voy a poder, he podido. So we have five. One, two, three, four, five, right? So in this case, when we talk about future can, we don't say will can. We say be able to. So be able, yeah. We, uh, we take can and we put be able to. Yeah. All right? So, yeah. yeah. You know why I, 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 I explain like this? I explain can like this because sometimes... When I ex explain be able to and, and, and can differently, people get confused. Because sometimes when I have uh, students, they say, Teacher, a mí me enseñaron que be able to es como ser capaz. Y can es poder. Pero can, si eres capaz, puedes. And so it, there is a big confusion for many students. So I always say, Don't, you know what? Just think that be able to and can are the same thing. If you want to tell somebody, listen, no voy a poder llegar, you say in English, I will not, I will not or I won't be able to make it or to arrive on time. I will not be able to be. No voy a poder estar, I won't be, I will not be able to be. It's uh, never together and they able to can, right? Never. They don't like each other. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like each other. They are not friends. All right. So, what is the other question, guys? You can ask right now because you know we have such a beautiful uh, image on the board that this is your chance to ask for those questions. Yeah, I I confused too, and then she couldn't. But I think when I say the can, I I think they can, she can do, she, she can, couldn't do it. Oh, in the past? I'm confused Here? for me. Here? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, now it's see. Oh, okay, yeah. So let me explain. Let me, let me re-explain. Can is in present, but the, the past of can is could. So, she, she, can, could, do, do, it, it. So, the only difference is can changes can. to could. Okay. To talk about the past tense. Mm. All right? Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. yesterday we made sentence, they taken it. Uh, they Take, they take it, they take it. Taken, no, taken. Uh, that, that was the progress, uh, present perfect. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That was the present perfect. <laughs> you see, yesterday, today, we have the simple, simple tense, and we have the progressive tenses. Simple present, simple past, simple future will, simple future going to, and simple present perfect. Five. One, two, three, three, four, five. And for the simple present, the simple present has 
at present progressive. Present, simple present, present progressive. Simple past, past progressive. Simple future will, will progressive. Future going to, simple future, you can call it simple future. Going to, going to, <laughs> progressive. And present perfect, simple present perfect, or, simple, or just present perfect. We have present perfect, progressive. So they, they go like this, you know, simple and progressive. Simple, progressive, simple, progressive, simple, progressive. That's how they are connected. Yes, Mr. Power, go ahead. Oh, say, say, it's okay. Do you have a question? No, I don't have to. All right. All right. Uh, anybody else? Rosario. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Rosario's analyzing. She's like, what the hell did he just write there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What 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 are you thinking, Rosario? Is this all clear for you? It's clear. Yeah, it is clear. It is very clear. The way how you put right now, super clear. It's very easy to understand all the all the things. things. Like this? Yeah. It's very clear for me. Okay. Very mm -hmm. clear for you. Okay. Marco, for you. Yes, Mister. Please, please call call how many things have you in the blackboard? How many? I have one, two, one, three, three two, four, five. 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 Yeah. Five times three, fifteen. Five. Yeah, because we have one, one two, two, and three. three. Four, five. One, Ten. two, three, four, five. So it's fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, Ten the feature, feature, please. Yeah, with muñeco or without muñeco? With muñeco. <laughs> <laughs> no, no power. <laughs> no power. <laughs> okay, so 15 things. For power, no. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, is it power just the picture? Okay. Only ladies. <laughs> Only ladies, okay. Margaret, any questions, Margaret? Um, it's okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Only, only, not this, not this uh, sentence. I, I want to ask you mm -hmm. uh, about the conditional good. Okay. Is it, is it conditional good? Is con, with it a uh, bad? To do, mm -hmm. but it's not in the blackboard. Is it one question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, what what exactly is the question about wood? For example, for example, she would do it. She wouldn't do it. Would she do it? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. okay conditional in present, in present progressive, she, she could be doing it. Oh, okay, okay. If we can do that, you're asking if we can do that. Uh, yes, we can, we can, we can do that too with wood. Yes, we could do that. Uh, that is in the next, in the next round. In the next practice, we're going to do another practice like this. But in this case, exclusively with modal verbs. Uh, well, okay. Can, could, should, would, must, may, and might. Must, may. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it in the next class. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, to me, guys, it is super important to for you to understand this here. Because if you do, if you understand this, this is a lot of English. Like this is, I could probably say 70%. If you understand this topics, you have about 70% of the language, you know, like to control, like very, to control at some level, 
at an intermediate level of conversations with this kind of grammar if you understand it. Or after this, all you need is vocabulary. But if you understand this grammar structure here that I presented to you today, uh, this is a lot of information. This is very powerful. This is very powerful information. If you have the capacity or capacity to understand all of this, this is a lot. This is a lot. And I'm doing this today because I explained to you before that in the next classes, mm -hmm. we are going to be working with all of this, but we are going to be using different things. We're just going to put more, more, um, more decorations to these sentences. But first, this needs to be you know, understood as much as possible or the best way possible. So if you guys understand this, you know, if you get to understand it well, it's a lot. It's a lot of information. I mean, like I said, today, this is just grammar. I'm not explaining what the meaning of it in Spanish because it shouldn't be in Spanish. But if you understand that, ella lo hace, ella lo hizo, ella lo hará, ella lo va a hacer, ella lo ha hecho. If you understand that in your mind, right, then it's a lot of information. Uh, as I mentioned this to you before, I usually do this before when we finish like one group, uh, one section of, uh, of a topic. I would like to do these recaps, you know? Like for example here, the, 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 the last weeks that we have been uh, learning about, this is what we have been learning about, present perfect. Mm -hmm. Present perfect and present perfect progressive. But present, present, pro, uh, present perfect and present perfect progressive are here, but to, to get here, we need to start here. We need to understand that guy right there. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we just keep building. And now, in the next classes, we're going to build on this. We're going to build on all of this. On all of this. We're going to be building. So, yes. <clears throat> so if I say, it, yes. Excuse me, please. Uh, what is the five say the, in Spanish, you say the can? Puedo, puedo, or, or how to say? Five. Uh, for example, if I say, yo puedo, I can. Yo pude, uh, I could. Yo podré. Puedo, pudo, pudo. Wait. Puedo, pudo, podré. Voy a poder. Voy a poder. He podido. Voy a poder. He podido. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then, and, and the same thing, you can do it in, in affirmative, negative, and question. Yes. Ella puede, ella pudo, ella podrá, ella va a poder, ella ha podido. And if you want to do a negative, of course, you say, ella no puede, she can't do it. Ella no pudo. She couldn't do it. Ella no va a poder. She won't be able to do it. Ella no podrá. Ella no podrá. She won't be able to do it. Ella no va a poder. She's not going to be able to do it. Y ella no ha podido. She hasn't been able to do it. Thank you. That's what you have here. That's what you have here. So, uh, let me see. I could ask you a few other questions, but I I could ask you questions, but I prefer you express express to me your questions so that way I can answer them. Because you know, to write this, to write this here on the board, it looks very nice and neat, but to understand it is precious. <laughs> you know, it's precious if you understand it better. So I prefer to answer any questions that you may have about this here. Elizabeth. If the, yes, Margaret. And a question. Mm -hmm. In future perfect. Future? Future perfect. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm doing with the uh, future perfect. I, it's a, I know, or I can, I, I see, I saw. Mm -hmm. She will have done it. She will not have done it. Mm -hmm. Or is it uh, is going we have? No, will. 
send the, the image from the blackboard yes the image for it. and the mega video the, the this class the mega video <laughs> yeah. I will send the mega video did you get the mega video from yesterday yes okay but I, I want this mega video too okay okay it's important yes yes remember that was to you automatically so and the, and the image from and, the and the mega picture the image from the blackboard okay good excellent so guys if you have no more questions for today that will be it uh, I'll send you the picture just wait for my two sentences in the whatsapp group I will send the two sentence sentences and you will do the same process the same process as yesterday and the same process as today all right Okay. Yes, please. All right. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. We're going to go live. So, and for the homework, see you on Monday. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye, everyone. Happy weekend, teacher. All right. Bye, Bye teacher. everyone. Bye, Elizabeth. Bye, Bonilla. Bye, Mr. Power. Bye, Margaret. Bye, Margaret. Right. Okay. Bye. 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 Later. In 30 minutes. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. Muy buenas tardes. No, buenas tardes. <risa> bueno, <risa> saludos primero que todo los que están conectados en nuestro video de, de aquí de Facebook. Chicos, lo que acaban de presenciar es una clase de... Este es un repaso gramatical que comúnmente hacemos después de... Eh, después de, de, de avanzar. Sí, aquí lo que estamos haciendo, que estamos, los chicos, que la clase que acabamos de terminar, ellos ya ha, han empezado desde cero, empezaron con el abecedario, saludos, y así sucesivamente, colores, días, meses del año, pero con persistencia se llega lejos, que es bien importante la persistencia en la, en la parte del idioma inglés, right? eh, persistencia y obviamente tener el enfoque bien claro de por qué uno quiere aprender el inglés, ellos aquí están mirando solamente la mitad de los temas que ellos ya han aprendido y obviamente se tiene que ir repasando constantemente para poder eh, ir puliendo los temas que ya ha, han visto. Lo que acaban de mirar el día de hoy es un resumen y falta todavía la otra parte del resumen. Aquí solamente es una parte del resumen 
de los temas que hemos visto, tanto como el presente, el presente regular, presente simple, o el pasado, el presente progresivo, y así sucesivamente los otros tiempos. Bueno, en, en resumidas cuentas, chicos, eh, quien domine este tipo de temas, o estos temas así, ya tendrá un nivel intermedio de inglés, porque esta es la base del idioma. Entender cómo manejar estos temas es la base del idioma inglés. Obviamente hay otros, otros temas que sí, eh, por ejemplo, que sí, los adjetivos, los gerundios, um, eh, todas esas cosas en particular, las preposiciones, ¿verdad? Son, son simplemente complementos que se van uh, aprendiendo, pero ellos, eh, todos esos otros temas que los gerundios, que si sí, las preposiciones, los adjetivos, las ocupaciones, se enganchan o si ya nada más se adhieren a esos temas bases. Estos son temas bases del idioma inglés. Alright? So, eh, esta es una clase en vivo. Comúnmente nosotros hacemos clases todos los días de inglés a esta hora, a las 9 de la noche, y otro nos vamos a la otra a las 10, 15 de la noche. Y bueno, quise transmitir un poco de esta clase en vivo para que ustedes se den cuenta qué tan lejos pueden llegar en cuestiones de del aprend el aprendizaje del idioma y, y, y bueno invitarlos a la misma vez si usted vive, en, no importa el lugar donde usted vive, aquí en esta clase que ustedes acaban de escuchar había personas de, de New Jersey, de New York de, de Florida de allá de Texas, de Las Vegas de diferentes partes, así es de que si en algún momento estás ahí mirando este video y dices ¿será que yo voy a aprender? las personas que estaban en esta clase ahora mismo pensaba, se preguntaba lo mismo. Y uno nunca sabe lo que puede hasta que lo intenta. Así es que, bueno, si les pareció interesante, te invito a que le regales un like a este video, a que lo compartas, y a la misma vez te invito a que te conectes con nosotros todos los jueves, todos los jueves a las 10 y media de la noche con nuestro video en vivo. Así es de que voy a terminar este video porque nos vamos a conectar en 30 minutos ya como es costumbre. Y recuérdate que no importa tu nivel de inglés, si eres un nivel bajo, te invito al video. Si eres un nivel eh, intermedio, también te invito. Porque ahí es donde esto, esto es solamente gramática. En los videos que nosotros hacemos en vivo para ustedes, es para que ustedes, los que ya tienen un nivel inter, intermedio, que ya dominan estos temas, donde les hago preguntas para ver qué tan rápidos son para traducir sus frases. ¿Verdad? Para traducir las frases. Así es que chicos, nos vemos en 30 minutos. Si les ha gustado este video, regalen un like y compártanlo. Y si necesitan información acerca de nuestros cursos, mándenos un mensaje o comenta debajo del video. Necesito información y alguien les va a contactar. Ustedes saben, les abre los dos chicos. Nos vemos en